Ladies and gentlemen, today we will delve into the fascinating history of one of the most influential and powerful figures in Roman history, Emperor Constantine. Constantine the Great was the son of the Emperor Julian and the niece of the Emperor Diocletian. Born in 306 AD, Constantine grew up in a time of political turmoil. As the Roman Empire was divided between the Western and Eastern Roman Empires. In 33 AD, Constantine, at the age of 30, overthrew his uncle Diocletian and became emperor of the Western Roman Empire. He brought about a number of reforms to strengthen the empire and improve its governance. These reforms included the introduction of the Roman currency, the decimal system, and the construction of monumental architectural projects such as the Colosseum and the Roman Forum. In 285 AD, Constantine faced a new challenge when the East Roman Emperor, 285 AD Maxentius, invaded the Western Roman Empire. To protect his newfound empire, Constantine made the bold decision to convert to Christianity. This act of faith would have a profound impact on the future of the Roman Empire and the world. In October 324 AD, Constantine was assassinated by his own prefect of police, Maxentius, who later became Emperor Constantine II. Although Maxentius succeeded in his assassination attempt, Constantine's conversion to Christianity and his efforts to unite the Roman Empire under his rule had made him a symbol of hope and unity for many Christians. Though Constantine is best known for his religious and political achievements, he was also a wise and accomplished general. He expanded the Western Roman Empire and successfully defend against barbarian invasions. In the years that followed, Constantine's health began to decline and he suffered a series of mental breakdowns. He passed away in 337 AD, at the age of 56. His legacy lives on to this day, and he is widely regarded as one of the greatest leaders in Roman history. Thank you for joining me in exploring the life and accomplishments of Emperor Constantine.